It's been a long time since we've seen a truly great puzzle action hybrid. Last year's Theatre Rhythm from Square Enix did a good job of combining a Dance Dance Revolution style of game with a basic battle system. Puzzle Quest was fantastic at mixing the Match 3 genre with a fantasy setting. Now, Devolver Digital brings us a combination of Match 3 gameplay, frantic lane-based strategy, a battle system, and wicked music in the form of Dungeon Hearts. Set to release on the 28th of March 2013, Dungeon Hearts is the love child of Chris Pavia, aka Cube Roots. Chris is so excited about the game's release, he was kind enough to give me a preview copy of the game so I can help show it to the world. Chris is excited for good reason. The story behind Dungeon Hearts is a heartwarming tale of success. Rewind to March of 2012. Devolver Digital, an Austin-based game publisher known for their involvement in the Serious Sam series and more recently Hotline Miami, held an open call of sorts for developers to pitch their designs. Chris's pitch was successful. The game sees four heroes, RPG staples the Warrior, Mage, Cleric and Ranger battling against a swath of foes on their journey to stop the Dark One, who's hell-bent on returning to the world and instilling fear into the hearts of its inhabitants. A glimmer of hope is what keeps our heroes going. Well, that and badass attacks based on aligning magical runes. These runes flow along what is referred to as the Fate Stream and represent the core mechanic in the game. The player can drag runes anywhere, providing their movement isn't blocked by other runes. The runes themselves come in four colours, red, blue, green and yellow, which represent each of the four heroes. Matching three at a time produces a power rune. A simple tap will activate one of these to perform an attack. While this sounds fairly simplistic, the mechanic is quite engaging and extremely deep. You see, when power runes are activated on the same vertical or horizontal line as the standard runes of the same colour, they are activated as well and add to your attack combo. Not only that, but if power runes are on the same plane as other power runes, they too are triggered. Quick and careful placement of your runes can create some very devastating attacks and the feeling of pulling off these moves is immensely satisfying. Activating power runes is not only vital to destroying your enemy, but also for defending. It seems that you're not the only ones able to interact with the fate stream, and if you don't destroy the enemy's runes before they reach your heroes, you'll take damage, or worse, status effects that can have severe consequences. During the game's boss fights, your metal will be tested as these bad runes come hard and fast. Between each enemy encounter, you'll have the opportunity to match booster runes. These allow you to recuperate, level up, and unlock your hero's skills. This segment of the game plays out like a puzzle game where you'll need to remove as many of the runes as you can to free up others for movement. Of course, you'll need to do this very quickly. It makes for a great change of pace from the standard game. These core gameplay mechanics can take a while to get used to, and I highly recommend checking out the game's tutorial, which, while a little bit on the long side, is definitely a valuable learning tool. The graphics are really nice. The colors are vibrant and the landscape is filled with lots of detail. The heroes and enemies are constructed from simple, low-polygon models that give the sense of cuteness while still retaining the character of the model. Now, I previously mentioned the game's music. It's just amazing. Tracks from artists such as Sam English, Eric Peabody and Chris Nan can all be unlocked by playing the main campaign. Each of the tracks adds a little something different to the experience and I think you'll thoroughly enjoy unlocking them. Dungeon Hearts is set for release on March 28 for iPad only and will cost $2.99. There's a lot of buzz surrounding Dungeon Hearts, and I can say that after a few hours playing the game, it is indeed warranted. Keep your eyes open for this one. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great mobile gaming content. This has been Alex for GameMob, that's www.gamemob.com.